Okay, here's the effect uh, that we've been learning making a uh, sampler instrument. And this will be a, um, a vocal rise, you know, one of those pitch bend things that you hear a lot in EDM type music. So I've dragged a loop in. Get up, get up. Okay, uh, first thing I want to do is convert this from an Apple loop. You can see it's an Apple loop. So I'm going to bounce it in place using this, bounce regions. I'll leave this all as default and just make sure normalize off. The reason I do this is because Apple logic doesn't like to mess with, uh, doesn't like you to mess with Apple loops. I can get delete this now. I've got my own stereo audio, audio file now. You can see that here. Okay, I just want the word up. So I'm going to use my marquee tool. That's my command click tool right here. I'm going to hold command. I'm going to just cut out the word up. Click it. And that's a cut. I can select and delete now this stuff. Up. Remember, this is non-destructive editing in this window. The audio is still there. Love that about this program. I'm using control option to zoom in. I want a little more of that front end. I'm going to put my locators around and just listen. All right, doesn't really sound like up, but it's going to do the deal here. Okay, so here's the trick. I want to load this into a sampler. So I'm going to create an EXS24. Boom. It's empty, right? We click on the edit button. I want to drag this and drop it here. I'm going to go into my media tab, bin. Take this, drag it, drop it. So it's pitched it all the way across my keyboard. I can see here that its key is C3. So C3 is going to play the right pitch where everything else is going to be descending in pitch. I want this sample to just sit on C3. So I'm going to use this low until it reaches C3 and then high. And now that sample is just sitting on C3. All the other keys on my keyboard don't play anything. But C3, great. Okay, the other trick now is to adjust this pitch bend here. It's set to two. So the pitch bend on my keyboard is really moving it up two semitones. I want to move it up an octave. All right. Let's review this business here. File, save as. You want to make sure that copy EXS instrument and copy samples is ticked. As a matter of fact, I've just been teaching you. Check all these. Just get used to it. You can skip the movie one for now. Save. I want to save this as up. Whatever. Save. Now I can close this window. Right click. Create an empty MIDI region. I want to stretch this out. Whatever. Six bars. I'm going to get that step input keyboard. I'll start with quarter notes. I'm going to double click on this. Empty MIDI and brings me to my piano roll. You got to turn the MIDI in button on just once. Remember, don't turn it black like this. That's a different function. You just want one click so it looks like this. When I play C3 now, Dap. programs a quarter note. Dap. 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 I can change it here to eighth notes. Dap. 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 Doesn't Dap. matter if I play eighth notes, it's going to program Dap. eighth Dap. notes, sixteenths. Dap. 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 Dap.
Why not? Thirty seconds. It's gonna sound whack. Colors mean dynamics. Remember, harder you hit your keyboard. This is the effect that I have right now. Okay. Now comes the programming part. I can close this. Back into the piano roll, we use this thing called HyperDraw. Click on that. It doesn't look like anything really happened there, but you've got to just open this window. Right now, it's showing me my velocities, and I can, in fact, manipulate the velocities here. Uh, we'll do that another time. Let's just go right to the fun part, pitch bend. The black line represents my pitch bend wheel at unity, right? It's in, it's upwards. Uh, I'm going to just make a node here and pull this up, and that's going to be my pitch bend, and I can adjust that any way that I want to get this effect. Stop. This information here is the pitch bend MIDI CC continuous controller data that I just wrote into the track. Another cool thing you could do is add another sample underneath this. Something like this, maybe. I'll take this one. Okay. Again, I just need to set the key range here. And now I've got a kick drum underneath the vocal. When I try to close this, it's going to say, hey, do you want to save it? I say yes. I can close this. And now i got a kick drum underneath the vocal sample. Shabam! There it is.